Hello and welcome back my handstand friend for installment number seven of your 21 days of better handstand habits. Uh, you'll notice I got socks on because we're going to be sliding today in a drill called tuck slides. Now my wall is just your standard wall with standard paint. It's not very smooth and if I go barefoot my feet kind of stick. So I'm going to put on socks to make this a little easier. Uh, you may want to do the same because we're going to slide the feet down and we're going to slide the feet up oscillating between a straight line position and a tuck position. So this is a very strength-based drill. Here's why. When we go from straight line handstand and we tuck down, right, our handstand changes shape. So the stabilizer muscles that are responsible for keeping us up get that stimulus and they get to experience a dynamic handstand, a handstand where we're, we're moving shapes in and out. So if I want to build strength, I want to challenge those muscles in a variety of ways. And if you can't do a freestanding handstand yet, you might say, hey man, I can't really go from straight line to tuck freestanding because I don't have my balance yet. Well, let's leverage our friend, the wall, to give us that support so we can put in the work and build the strength in order to get the freestanding balance eventually. Remember, the goal of the drills is not the handstand. The goal of the drills is to do the drills. So watch this first one. I'm gonna kick up, feet are gonna to touch wherever they touch, and they're gonna come down as I come in to tuck. I'm going to extend up, and they're gonna come down, and I'll do this about five times. So watch the first one, and then you'll follow along in the second set. My hands are gonna be relatively closer to the baseboard. This isn't uh, twinkle toes where we're uh, really far away. I'm gonna go about maybe six to eight inches, okay? so. Looks a little bit like this. I'm gonna find my handstand at the wall. I'm gonna to count to three. One, two, three, get my uh, foundations, and then I'm just gonna slide. Okay, this might be your comfort level. This might be your comfort level right here. The whole time, my feet are staying connected to the wall. I can feel my socks sliding down. So that's one, two, three. I can feel my shoulders stabilizing as I change shape four and five and then i will come down smoothly hopefully land nice and soft there so that's set number one i want you to think about a couple of things here as we're doing this number one speed is not your friend if you pull down really fast what's going to happen is you're going to come out of balance and then you're going to be back on the ground to start over so your legs are the heaviest part of your body. We wanna use them to your advantage in handstand drills, not working against you. If you try to pull your legs down real sharp and real fast, you're just gonna knock yourself out. So think about keeping the same pace every time. Down, up, down, up. Meaning you are owning the entire range of motion. You are in control of the entire movement from the peak to the compression to the peak, to the compression, and so on. So this next set I want you to do with me, tuck slides. Remember, hands six to eight inches from the baseboard. We find our handstand at the top, count to three, get your foundation set, and then we pull down nice and slow. Move on my count. We're up in three, two, one. I got my handstand at the wall. We're gonna count one, two, and three. Now pull down and up. Smooth slide down and up. Smooth down, smooth up. Here we go, four and number five, all the way up and then come on down. So this is a really good way to work on your tuck position, even if you can't tuck up. I teach tuck in some of my subsequent programs that I offer on you know, kyleweger.com. Tuck is kind of a tricky one because jumping up into tuck can be hard. And so some people just give up on the tuck entry, even though once you get it, it will become your best friend. My ethos and my kind of philosophy is like, okay, well, if beginner students are having trouble tucking up, what if we did the inverse of that so that they could feel the sensation? What if tucking down was easier, which it is, and then that allows you to access tuck position, okay? So this drill will come in a lot, you know, uh, it will come up a lot later in your practice as you start working through scissor, tuck, straddle, scissor, tuck, straddle entries, and there's a whole combo I teach. Um, so we're gonna do one more set here, okay? Up, slide down five times, here we go. I'm at the wall for three, two, 
and then one, here we go, start sliding, tuck down, tuck up, tuck down, tuck up, push through the shoulders, tuck down, tuck up, that's three, four, easy peasy, and five, then come down nice and slow and with control, all right, tuck slides. Um, as with all the drills that we do here in this 21 days of building better habits, if five was easy, add. I'm just giving you these demo videos so that you can start to piece together like what an actual training looks like, right? Um, if five is super hard, but you can get three, do multiple sets of three and then add a fourth and then add a fifth. Kind of be your own best coach here in terms of like figuring out where does this drill fit into my overall practice and how many reps of this drill can I do with integrity and where I am pushing myself to where I'm getting fatigued and the drill is hard, but I'm not just overexerting and collapsing to the point where I'm doing like bad reps. So food for thought, do your tuck slides. This is a good one, by the way, if you want to, uh, for those of you that are on the social medias, if you want to film this one from the side, and post it and feel free to tag me in it. You can see exactly how deep your tuck is by leveraging the wall. All right, my friends, that is it for me. Video number seven in the books. As always, check your email for a little daily handstand surprise from Kyle.